Good morning dear children. I welcome you all to today's English class. Today we are going to study a story. That is the little fir tree. Hope you all like stories. Now here you have the story of a little fir tree. Listen to the story carefully. Okay. The little fir tree. Shetty the magician was returning home when all of a sudden it began to rain. It rained heavily. Shetty looked around for shelter and saw a pretty little fir tree. He ran towards it as fast as he could. Soon the rain stopped. Shetty was happy. that he did not get wet thank you you have been kind to me i would like to reward you ask for four wishes and i will grant them said the magician the sad fir tree had leaves like needles and no birds ever made their nest on it so it said i wish I had green leaves like my other friends. Next morning, its wish was granted. Soon, a goat came along and ate all the green leaves. "Oh dear," said the fir tree. "I wish I had gold leaves, as goats do not eat gold leaves." When the little fir tree woke up the next morning, It was surprised to see gold leaves. How happy I am! It said. A man came along and stole the gold leaves. I wish I had glass leaves instead. Men do not steal glass leaves. The next day, its glass leaves shone in the bright sun. How happy I am! It said. At night, the wind blew. Mm. All the glass leaves broke. Oh dear! Said the fir tree. I like my old needle-like leaves best. For goats do not eat them. No man can steal them. The wind will do them no harm. The tree went to sleep. When it woke up the next morning, it had all its needles back again. Oh, I never was so happy," said the little fir tree. Now, can you read this chapter by yourself, children? You have to read this by yourself. Okay. Now let's move on to the new words. meanings of the new words the first word is magician meaning a person with magical powers sentence there was a magician at the party next one pretty meaning pleasing to the eyes my best friend is really pretty needle meaning a small thin object with pointed end sentence the furry have needle like leaves next one leaves plural form of leaf meaning a part of plant sentence leaves make food for the plant next one is gold a meaning a yellow precious metal my mother gifted me a gold ring on my birthday next one stole past tense of steal take another person's property without permission sentence the man stole the money from the house is it next pick the correct answer 
have to read the options given and you have to tick the correct answer for each question. Is it clear? First one, the pretty little fir tree was happy with gold leaves, but a goat came along and ate them. All the leaves got wet in rain. A man stole them. Which is the correct sentence for the first question, children? Yes, the third one. A man stole them. Now the next one. The fir tree was sad because it had yellow leaves. It had needle-like leaves. It was very short. Why was the fir tree sad, children? Is it because it had yellow leaves? No. Yes, it is because it had needle-like leaves. Isn't it? Let's move on to next question. The fir tree was not happy with the gold leaves. Why? Because the gods came and ate them. A man stole them. The gold leaves broke. Why was the tree was not happy with the gold leaves? Yes, a man stole them. Next one is word building. And the question is, by changing the circled word to its opposite, rewrite these sentences. One has been done for you. The first one is, I carry a light bag to school every day. I carry a heavy bag to school every day. So the opposite of light is heavy. Did you understand? Like this you have to write. Now we will see the next one. Rena won the race. What is the opposite of won? Won means Jaikuga. Rena lost the race. See, I love eating vegetables. What is the opposite of love? You have to write the opposite of love and rewrite the sentence. I hate eating vegetables. This glass of milk is full. What is the opposite of full? Empty. This glass of milk is empty. Opposite of full is empty. Now the old the old man is wise. Wise. Opposite of wise is foolish. The old man is foolish. Did you understand children? Now give the opposite of the words below by adding un or im. You have to add un or im to the words and give the opposites. Here what you have to do is you have to add im with the word starting with p. The, to all the words starting with p you can add im i am im. Is it clear children? We will see how to do that. Here you have some words. Happy, polite, seen, proper. Happy. You have to add un. U-N. Unhappy. P. Polite. So you have to add im. Impolite. I am. Im. Impolite. Now the next one is seen. You have to add U-N. Un. Unseen. Proper. The word is starting with P. So you have to add improper. You have to add im. I am im. Improper. Now we will see the next set of words. Lucky. Possible. Important. Perfect. So lucky. What you have to add? Unlucky. Possible. What you have to add? It is starting with P. So you have to add Im. I am impossible. Then important. Here, what you have to add? Unimportant. Perfect. Starting with P. So, imperfect. Did you understand, children? Imperfect. Now, let's see the last set of words. Healthy, safe, patient, pure. Healthy. What do you have to add there? Un or I am? Un. Unhealthy. Safe. What do you have to add? Unsafe. Isn't it? 
unsafe patient starting with p so you have to add im i am im impatient pure starting with p so you will add impure did you understand the next question is read the paragraph and given the opposites of the words in blue here you have one paragraph and the words written in blue you have to write opposites of those words okay rita loved her dog shiru every day shiru would go out of the house and come back himself but one day he did not come home rita looked everywhere for him tears rolled down her cheeks shiru was lost he was nowhere to be found rita was crying when she reached home she got into her bed all of a sudden something jumped on her can you guess who it was rita was very happy who it was children it was shiru now you can see some words in blue color you have to write the opposite of these words we will see the words one by one loud opposite of loud is hated go out opposite is come in come go come go now everywhere nowhere down down opposite up lost found did you understand children nowhere everywhere opposite of nowhere is everywhere crying laughing opposite of crying laughing happy sad or unhappy next activity rewrite the passage below using capital letters where necessary so you have i will give you one passage here you have to write or you have to use capital letters wherever necessary also you have to put inverted comma full stop question mark exclamation mark everything hope you all know this i have taught you this in the last class in the last chapter first one one saturday afternoon amarjit and his little sister rani went for a picnic to india gate there they saw ducks water and their friend raj where all you have to write capital letter one saturday one beginning of the sentence you have to write capital letter saturday afternoon amarjit and his little sister rani for both names you are writing capital letters went for a picnic to india gate it is a noun proper noun so capital letter then full stop there t capital comma they saw ducks comma water and their friend raj raj is a proper noun so capital letter then oh dear said the fir tree i like my old needle like leaves best for goats do not eat them and no man can steal them let's see where all we have to write capital letters oh dear o o capital then exclamation mark dear comma said the fir tree full stop i like i capital like my old needle like leaves best comma for goats don't eat them and no man can steal them full stop let's move on to next exercise it's talk time look at the picture given in the yellow box there are eight things six of them you can see in the picture the other two you cannot see write down the four things that you can see here you can see a picture and the yellow box you can see some words ducks dog boy fountain mat girl tree flowers so you have now 
Let's write things we can see in the picture. Things we can see. Ducks. Boy. Mat. Girl. Tree. Flowers. These things you can see in the picture. And things we can't see in the pictures. Picture are dog and fountain. Do you know what is a fountain? This is a fountain. Okay, you, you might have seen this in parks and all. Now, let's describe the picture. You have to look the picture carefully and you have to say. Okay, now the first one. A brother and sister have come to the pond for picnic. They have bought food to eat and ball to play. Two ducks are swimming in the pond. A butterfly is sucking nectar from the flower. There are also trees, birds, green grass and flowers. They are having a good time with nature. You have to describe a picture. Now, next is fun time. Ajit loved flowers. He always wanted to have a garden for himself. Mohan, his friend, gave him an idea. He said, why we can have a garden in a dish? Ha ha, Ajit laughed. A garden in a dish? Yes, dish gardens are tiny gardens planted in a shallow dish. We must first put some sand, manure and pebbles in a dish. Plant very tiny plants in it and place the dish on the window sill. Did you understand this? This is about making a small garden in a dish. You can make small garden in a dish and keep it on a window sill. If you have school, now means I might have told you to bring that to school. You can make use of all the utensils like this. You can put some mud, pebbles and manure and you can plant some plants like this. Hope you will do that. Now the next one is glass breaks easily when it is dropped. Do you think a mud flower pot, a glass spoon, a wooden table, a plastic cup, books or your plastic water bottle can break easily. Circle the things that can. Here you have to circle the things which breaks easily. Among these things which all, th which all breaks easily? Yes, flower pot. Flower pot breaks easily. Then spoon, glass spoon. Then cup. These are the things which breaks easily. Now let's move on to our next task. Which of the following actions make others happy and unhappy? Here you have some actions. I'll read it for you. Respecting elders, not saying thank you, being polite, playing with friends, visiting a sick friend, not sharing, watching television all day, telling lies, being greedy, caring for pets, getting angry easily, being honest. Now let's see among these actions which all would make others happy or unhappy. Actions that make people happy. Respecting elders, being polite, playing with friends, visiting a sick friend, being honest, caring for pets. Now actions that makes people unhappy. Not saying thank you, not sharing, telling lies, getting angry easily, watching television all day, being greedy. These, these are some of the actions that make people happy and unhappy. If you have any doubt in any word, you can find the meaning using your dictionary. Otherwise, you can call me. That's all for today's class, children. At the end, I will just say that no one is you and that's your power. What you have to do is 
Be yourself and love yourselves with what you have. Children, be good, do good, study well, be safe. Thank you.